<laughs> Esther Malango is almost 80, but she's still going strong. For decades, she has been practicing the traditional art of her tribe, the Ndebele, located in the northeastern South Africa. She explained how that art evolved. This was the old way of doing it, when it was done with black and white soil mixed with powder, and you would draw the pattern with your fingers. Now, Ndebele art is colorful with symmetrical patterns. Malangu learned to paint from the elders in her hometown when she was a little girl. Soon, people realized she was talented. She could draw straight lines without rulers and mastered the colors. We mix soil and water to make the pigment, and we use chicken feathers to paint. We in the belly don't use rulers. Rulers are in your mind. inside here. One day in the late 1980s, two French researchers came to the village. They noticed her paintings and asked her to travel to France to display her art. That was the beginning of travels that took Malangu to more than 20 countries to exhibit her work. She said she's happy she helped introduce Ndebele art around the world. I am very grateful to the people who taught me how to paint, so now I can contribute to make the art known. Some years back, Malangu opened the guest house and a school in her backyard where she mentors young artists. Lindiwe Shongwe has been learning with Malangu since the age of five. She says Malangu's life is inspiring and she wants to follow in her teacher's footsteps. I would like to go overseas, earn a living thanks to the art, while carrying the legacy of the Ndebele art and of Madame Esther. Dolls, cups, trays, blankets, Malangu is prolific and says she does not plan to stop painting anytime soon. As an Ndebele people, we grew up with this art, it's in our blood. This is why I continue painting. Young and Ndebele people may not know where life will take them, but the art roots them to their Ndebele culture. It is in my heart, it's in my blood. Malango's attachment to her culture and land is strong, stronger than the pool of city lights anywhere in the world. Emily Yab for VOA News in Johannesburg. <laughs>